Welcome to Baby and Me. I'm Miss Kelly with the Forsyth County Public Library and I've got my little baby. We're going to start off with a little bounce here. Hello little baby, let's go bouncing, 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 bouncing all day long. Now I'm going to turn baby against me here. A little crunch time for us. Hello little baby, let's go rocking, 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 rocking all day long. Hello little baby, let's go swaying, 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 swaying all day long. Hello little baby, let's go clapping, 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 clapping all day long. It's like I'm in the middle of a garden here with my vegetables and plants and my bugs. I have a bee and a snail and a caterpillar. Little Arabella Miller found a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her mother, then upon her baby brother. They said, Arabella Miller, put away your caterpillar. And I'm just crawling up one arm and then crawling up the other arm. Little Arabella Miller found a fuzzy caterpillar. First it crawled upon her brother, then upon her dear grandmother. Gran said, Arabella Miller, how I love your caterpillar. Mm -hmm. Give a bunch of little kisses there. Well, I also have a book about bugs here. And this one's kind of neat because it has some different lines that you can follow along with your finger. So you can go straight along or make a spiral. And it has pictures of butterflies and bees. Oh, and ladybugs. Ladybugs are beetles. And ladybugs eat tiny insects called aphids. Don't be afraid of the more advanced vocabulary in books like this, like spiral and aphids. Babies and young children need to hear vocabulary that's more advanced than the words they hear in everyday conversation in order to develop their language skills. So I, if you're into gardening or entomology, you may use some of those terms normally. So it's kind of nice to have books though that might have something outside of your everyday conversation. I also have some vegetables here and just get these out of your cabinet or your refrigerator and then talk to them about what they look like. Here's a squash. It's nice and yellow and Miss Kelly likes to eat squash. Oh look, this is an eggplant. It is purple. And then look at this. This is also an eggplant and it's white. I just learned recently that there were white eggplants. And then here are some green beans. I know what I'll be doing tonight. There are some different things. If you have an older child, you might have some flowers around the house and this is just a colander. So they can like take the, the flowers and poke them in the holes in the colander. That's a great fine motor and then also eye-hand coordination for them. If you don't have any plastic flowers, you could always use straws or um, chenille stands, anything small that would poke through that. Our, our caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. First comes the butterfly who lays an egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. And then I'm just gonna exercise their legs here. Oh, see the caterpillar spin. And we're gonna roll to one side and spin. Roll to the other side. A little cocoon to sleep in. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of the cocoon, my, oh, my. Out comes a beautiful butterfly. All right, if you have an older child, something that would be fun is to take a towel instead of the blanket here. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna set baby right there for a minute and spread this out. Now you know your child, so you do what's comfortable with your child. And then I'm gonna lay baby on the towel here. And you wanna make sure that their head is gonna be on the part that you're gonna be holding up. So that way, 
if they're sitting and they lose their balance when they fall back, that their head won't hit the floor, but it'll be supported right here. Okay, I have baby supported in the towel right here, and then I like to sing while I'm pulling them around. First comes the butterfly who lays an egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. So that's a good time that you can just sing with them while they're just hanging out and having a good time in that towel. If you are looking for some books or some cookbooks, then the library has an app called RB Digital that you can just put on your iPad or your tablet. And there's digital magazines on here. So maybe clean eating, or if I scroll on down, then there's lots of other ones that, oh, that might look good. So you can just tap on it, check it out, and then read it right on your device there. So I'll give you some ideas for some recipes with some vegetables and fruits from a garden. All right, well, thanks for joining me for Baby and Me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.